Okay, so I'm just going to talk about um, uh, a question I received uh, about the Golden Book signing from Dr. David R. Hawkins uh, recording and um, on enlightened teachers or, or spiritual teachers coming to a place of completeness and not knowing that there's more beyond that and karmic contracts. So, um, well, I'll talk about uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Hawkins first. I mean, he said that he had a prior karmic contract uh, before birth to be a, a spiritual teacher or an avatar, which is, you know, the teacher is at 1,000, um, and to, um, which is for, you know, to take on the, uh, I'll, I'll talk about the distinctions. He had that as a, and to be a teacher, a teacher in the West, so for people stuck in the head, you know, in scientific logical terms. So he's really a teacher trying to get um, Western civilization uh, out of being stuck in their head all the time and in and towards enlightenment uh, as an avatar. So that was the cut. And also to be a teacher illuminating how, uh, what's the difference between um, the test of 700, which was his personal test for this lifetime, uh, the calibrations of 700, the infinite void, the infinite silence, and getting to 1,000, you know, the infinite love of God, the highest calibration available in human body in this uh, dimension. So uh, I'll just talk to that. So the, um, this you know, the, the high states, when you get into um, the high 500s like ecstasy, or or intense bliss, um, just below enlightenment and the and the dissolving of the ego as as a, as a, lo a lo locality in separation, um, you get what's called the um, the high spiritual teachers who are very loving, uh, and they have a uh, the cities hit hits the teachers around the high five hundreds just before enlightenment. So a lot of the spiritual teachers that get to this high ecstasy, high bliss state, uh, often have uh, suddenly become uh, world famous uh, and have hundreds and hundreds of followers flock to them from around the world uh, with lots of reported stories of miracles, people's illnesses spontaneously disappearing in the presence of the teacher, all kinds of miracles and graces happen. And usually that spreads like wildfire and they get thousands of um, followers, and that's uh, been uh, gone over and over. Hawkins does warn that there's a lot of testing and temptations that occur at this stage for the teachers as they become famous. Uh, and, you know, uh, lots of adoration from um, people uh, and uh, who treat you like a god. Uh, not, you know, all the defects, lust, adoration, pride. Uh, financial temptation, um, you know, so I mean, some of the teachers have fallen, um, you know, and started up, you know, suddenly they're teaching high spiritual wisdom and next day it's sex orgies and 97 Rolls Royces in the back. Uh, sell all your properties and all your money and give it to me, to the holy cause. And it's it's good to have holy sex orgies in the ashram. And uh, yeah, just hand over your money for a higher cause and sell everything. So they fall. Uh, due to the temp various temptations. There may be stories of um, sexual seduction and all kinds of things that may suddenly occur. So um, the te many teachers fall for temptation. Uh, um, the t uh, the, but at that level, if you're um, in, at each level, there's a payoff and a completeness to it while you're in the state. Uh, the only thing is, um, so if you get to bliss, I mean, it's lovely to stay in bliss forever more. Who wants to go beyond bliss? I don't think anyone wants to go beyond bliss. And it feels total and it's satisfying and it's complete. And you can be, and you can be an excellent spiritual teacher or a blesser of the world. People just bliss out in your presence. And uh, Hawkins talks about this, you know, when he went into ecstasy, he was just... Um, just uh, going into empty church, the empty church in Sedona and just um, dancing nonstop in ecstasy all night long. So it's wonderful to stay in ecstasy, but usually um, what happens is that 
Um, now, there can be previous uh, prior karmic contracts for the teacher, and they may just uh, have got a contract to get to a certain level, feel complete at that level, and only teach up until that level. And that seems to be what's uh, divinely most likely. It's not 100%. You know, you can go higher or lower. But it, it would be what seems to be what is uh, contracted to be the favorable outcome for that lifetime, taking into account the karma and all the spiritual factors that come into, um, it's quite complicated if you look into the dynamics of how far a student can go and their, uh, if you like, their karmic balances and the situations they're incarnated into. So it might be to be a teacher in the 500s uh, of, of high love, of the high 700s, ecstasy, or to get to enlightenment, as many teachers get might get to 600, the enlightenment. A lot of teachers go to 700, which is actually, uh, and you feel complete, because 700 was one of the core things which a lot of spiritual teachers like Mother Teresa, um, Ramana, um, Gandhi, um, uh, 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 and, and uh, quite a few other teachers got to, but that's the that's the void, that's not one thousand. Um, and you feel complete. It feels like there's nothing beyond there, and they can be excellent teachers um, until they die. You know, Ramana just sitting with words of wisdom, Mother Teresa doing her spiritual work, Gandhi standing for truth. So. And, and it seems to be no more. It seems like you've arrived at the highest place. And that might be the karmic contract just to stick around there. Um, and then Hawkins, you see, the thing is with that is that even if you get to something like stunning 700, infinite silence, and um, not infinite light and love, but infinite silence, uh, non-dual beyond this world, um, it seems complete. The only thing that might happen is that you might get spat back into another incarnation because it's like that's not the end. You know, the infinite light and love is the end. So you might get spat back. You might not. You might do that in another realm. Um, uh, but Lars Hawkins, you know, had a prior contract. He came back to be a teacher to transcend what a lot of the spiritual teachers got to 700s, like Mother Teresa, Gandhi, uh, uh, Ramana and get to a thousand and teach the traps of how you go through the gateway uh, at um, 850 to get to a thousand um, and um, and uh, and also you know rather than being a teacher just sitting in bliss with a few cryptic words actually taking on the karma of the world to dissolve the karmic illusions of the collective and take that and sacrifice one's life for um you know bringing healing and light uh and and teachings of the highest order um to humanity so um each level does seem complete um uh, hawkins did talk about sometimes um it might not be ordained that you only get you stay at 570 in a lifetime and you know uh, he was in ecstasy and wanted to stay in ecstasy but then there would be periods when the ecstasy would leave so it was obvious that life, universe, God was saying to him, look, dummy, you can't stick around at ecstasy because, you know, you need to transcend it and be willing to give it up and go to some a higher place than just living in ecstasy nonstop. Because there is an, a hidden attraction to staying in these high states and not going higher. But it's also then, you know, at some points you might get to what seems to be the likelihood and might not then stick at a certain level of consciousness for the rest of a lifetime in the 700s or in the high 500s. But Hawkins' work was really to show, to make available to all humanity, um, you know, that there is a clear pathway now all the way up to the highest level, you know, and, go, and what you need to do to go through each level of consciousness, whether you're feeling blissed out, whether you're feeling um, uh, in uh, oneness, uh, whether you're feeling in infinite silence, and how to get all the way up to 1000, and and clear all your personal karma and start clearing the karma of the collective as well, and teach all the way up, and talk about the traps, and even 
you know, the traps of feeling complete at a certain level and that it's still you're still not there even if you feel infinite silence and peace all this all the time and you're in a non-dual experiencing that's still not there's still more to go so and he shows the pathway so that's now available for all humanity uh you know he's clearly uh outlined that in all his books and videos so um so that's a, a new option available for humanity not to get stuck at a level but if there's willingness to go to the highest level uh, and uh, and also take on the high spiritual work so it's a great uh, question and i'll um just going to press stop